Hey everybody, Stormland, thanks for joining me on another one of Chris's beer reviews. You know, I was in the LCBO today and I realized something. There's been a product that's been out for several years and I haven't given it enough credit to give it a review. So today I'm going to be doing that. You probably know what it is because of the title of the YouTube video you clicked on, but here it goes. It is the Molson Canadian Cold Shots. Uh, it's uh, 250 milliliter cans at 6 uh, percent ABV. Now, there's four cans in here. Um, sorry about the little pause there. Uh, I'm just wondering if there's anything else that I can find out from this pack. Uh, they pull out just like, you know, your Guinness packs. you got these little grooves on the side. They keep it in. Oh. Alright, so that's about it, people. You got a small, tiny shot like this. Um, now, I'll be frank with you, alright? As I was driving here, I was thinking about all the measurements. Uh, oh yeah, and by the way, in case you're wondering what the sunglasses are for, I'm changing it to, to, to cool shots. Alright? Alright. Now, uh, if you think about it, alright? Um, I'm still teetering on whether this is really worth uh, the quantity of alcohol here. Now, you got to realize, I've got an average of 10 to $14 uh, a six-pack in most stores, okay? So it's 10 to, to $14 average for a six-pack that ranges bottles uh, between the, the heights or can't even think properly. Um, between 330 milliliters uh, of liquid volume to 355 milliliters. Now, I came out uh, to bring out the smallest glass that I had, which was a 330 milliliter bottle. I'm, I'm, I'm going to predict that the cold shots is only going to fill up to about there. Now, the cold shots was about $5.45 just for this little four pack here. So if you do your math, all right. Uh, you spend, on average, ten to fourteen dollars for three thirty times six equals for one hundred uh, for a range of one hundred and nine. Oh, sorry, one thousand nine hundred and eighty milliliters to the 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 sheer difference of okay. So that, that volume that I just gave you, put that together, uh, that's 330 milliliters times 6, okay. Now we are going to do 355 milliliters times 6, and that takes us right up, that takes us from 1900 to 2130, so 2130 in volume, okay. Alright, so that's your average standard beer size, 350 milliliters per bottle uh, in a 6-pack. Now we're getting a 4-pack. At five, a little over five bucks, um, 250 milliliters times four equals. You are getting 1,000 milliliters. So technically, the fact that this came in a four pack, uh, the fact that the cans are small, uh, the fact that the alcohol content is higher than average, means to tell me that they wanted this to be a party drink for people to have quick cold shots for people who just wanted to get their buzz. Uh, no offense to Molson Canadian, that's a great idea. There's a lot of people out there like that. I don't blame you for that one. So you're, you are literally just paying half the price for half the volume of your average grade quality beer. So uh, now here's the test. What is it? What does it taste like? What does it smell like? It smells a little weird. I mean, this is probably Molson Canadian mixed with something or... Well, this is filling up more than I expected, but that's mainly because of the head. So as that's as that head is coming down, I am going to read you something off the can here. And you know what? They really don't explain much. Um, they explained that this is uh, Union Made and brewed in Moncton, St. John's, Canada. Um, and sadly, it was created by M Molson Coors Canada. So the, the, the one product that these guys just came out with now is, uh, holds the abbreviation for CLIT, okay? Uh, pardon my French or maybe how 
may you have misunderstood me when I said that. But again, it's abbreviation. It's supposed to be Corzolite Ice Tea. That's what they just came out with. Now, you know, to, to be honest with you, I'm, I'm quite surprised that I've been able to fit 330 milliliter beers in here, but I have uh, right to the tip. So believe it or not, the difference in 100 milliliter or 90 milliliters of volume is, is that much. Uh, it's quite surprising. So it's probably that much uh, for the other 100. It's probably that much for the other 100 because it's skinnier and it's getting fatter. So uh, here you go. It really does just smell like Coors Light. Uh, you got a very white head, clearly very white. Uh, all small and medium bubbles. You literally just look like you're about to drink a Canadian here. This is the first time I've ever poured one into a glass, so uh, it's all new to me. Now, honestly, people, you got a can taste here. You got the taste of Coors Light, and you got little to no carbonation in the taste. Nasty. Not a fan. I'd rather spend full price on full quality. How about you people? Now again, you will be agreeing with me because you were, chances are you were not somebody who just turned 19 in high school, who's just starting to drink, who wants to get the quick buzz and the quick fix, they don't know what's good and what's bad. I remember the first time I drank beer, I said to myself, oh, man, everybody's drinking beer like this? I guess I'm going to have to learn to like it. Learn to like it? If it's crap, it's crap. There's good beer out there. You just got to learn to go out and get it. When you're young and you turn 19 and you're in Canada, you're thinking, beer store beer store. Everything's at the beer store. No, man. The good beer is at the LCBO. The beer store has all the stuff that you generally would not want to drink after you drank all the stuff that you got from the beer store. Now, don't get me wrong here, people. There is a pretty bad selection at the LCBO as well. But at almost every LCBO section that I've gone to, except for the small ones, there's always been at least an entire shelf on one side and the other that is completely dedicated to the microbreweries, the great beers, the great imports, the stouts, the IPAs, and that's what I like. I guess it would have helped if I would have drank this much colder, but I didn't. I'm going to throw it in the freezer now. Anyways, people. Not really much to say on this. I'm going to give it a rating. Um, should I be out here a little more? Yes, I should. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it a rating. Um, out of 10, I'm going to give it a 2.5 out of 10. Uh, easily. Below average to me. I, 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 I'm now grieving over the fact that i got to drink three more of these at some point in time. <laughs> Excuse me. I might as well make them... Uh, extremely ice cold uh, like the cold shots they're supposed to be and I suggest that you do the same. Anyways people thanks for joining me on another one of Stormland's beer reviews. Don't drink and drive but drink responsibly. Cheers.